VC for Africa stands for Venture Capital for Africa. Uh, we're building the largest peer-to-peer -peer network for entrepreneurs who are building promising, scalable enterprises across the African continent. Uh, we seek to connect these individuals with all of the resources that they need as they go about building uh, the next generation of great companies. So that it's more suitable specifically for freelancers? We believe in mentor capital. It's not only about financial resources, it's also about providing the knowledge, the network, and the experience that these entrepreneurs need if they're going to be successful. Uh, through uh, membership to the VC for Africa community, you're establishing relationships uh, with other entrepreneurs, with mentors, with investors, with individuals where uh, at the end of the day you feel you could you could do business with for the next uh, five to ten years. ICS is a satellite operator company based here in Luxembourg. We <clears throat> operate and now I mean send or uh, distribute TV channels um, over the world but we also deliver data, telephony and uh, interactive uh, broadband services. SES has invested um, um, in a new constellation of satellites in a future technology which is called O3B. Those satellites will be a constellations of satellites going around the Earth and covering, of course, Africa and delivering to Africa uh, fiber-like capacity which will indeed increase yet again, you know, uh, and more access to um, for educations, access for telemedicine, access for every, you know, public needs that you would have. SOVEC is an investment fund. We invest in SMEs, in small and medium enterprises in Africa, and we have chosen some sectors particularly relevant for the economic development of a country that we focus on. That's uh, healthcare, that is uh, education, that is housing and that is clean energy. There are two groups of values of impacts that we generate. The one is obviously job creation, SMEs being the biggest uh, job motor in economies, particularly in Africa. And on top of that, the sectors that we have chosen have their own impact. And altogether, that is what we offer to our investors. We offer it in a way that we measure the baseline, we measure the output, and we provide the stories around it, uh, illustrating what the impact of those investments really is. Barclay Energy Africa is a new initiative from Barclay Energy. Barclay Energy is an investment company uh, which invests in new renewable power plants in developing countries. And it has been lucky enough to be selected by the African Development Bank in a, in a selection process to decide who was going to manage the uh, Africa Renewable Energy Fund. That's something we've done in Asia and we believe very much that the time is now appropriate and that there are many um, potential projects in Africa that would benefit from that same approach. Our mission is uh, to promote once again the private sector in developing countries with the aim is to reduce poverty. And how to reduce poverty through the private sector, and this is also our contribution to the Millennium Development Goals, is by creating jobs. But uh, we are also doing it directly. For example, we are supporting universities, uh, we are supporting um, uh, hospitals, uh, we are pro uh, providing support to private uh, water supply companies. So at the end, we are providing access uh, to um, public services. For example, last year we have provided more than 780 million exclusively for small and medium-sized enterprises through banks. And this is also what we are doing within the European Development Finance Institutes. We have uh, provided financing for the first uh, geothermal power plant, uh, it's called Olkaria in, in, in Kenya. We also have financed the first uh, IPO, the first um, private hydropower plant. In, uh, in Uganda, it's called Bujangali. So two projects which had not been the possibility of getting sufficient public support. I think one of the most promising developments we see is, is this growing population of, of Africans living outside of the continent. 
who are looking at their country of origin and they're trying to figure out, you know, how can I get involved? Uh, what we see in the process is, for example, uh, you know, a, a Cameroonian who, who's living in, in the U.S. connecting with two Cameroonian startups uh, based in, in Boya and Douala uh, through a mentorship exchange and then at some point being so excited about the opportunity having mm -hmm. established such a wonderful working relationship with the entrepreneurs actually making an investment. And so this is really where we believe in, in mentor capital. The Burkina Faso elections that we organized, for example, which is a very good example of how you can ensure a, so a stability during elections and a guarantee, guarantee that uh, you know, the CENI, the uh, commissions of the elections commissions, comes back with very secure data and something that can really be demonstrated to the, the, the population. Uh, on the, the education side, we're actually deploying today in South Africa um, connectivity to schools using the radio channels, but also using, you know, bringing to them um, content, and, you know, in, in rural areas, in places where no, um, you know, uh, other connectivity is available. Uh, we've made nine investments in Ghana, and just a few examples. Uh, we have invested in a school. Uh, that we thought to be of excellent quality with the native curriculum, so not an international curriculum. Uh, and once we saw that first school becoming successful, we sat with the local entrepreneur and discussed whether he was interested in further expanding uh, the, the model of the school, the formula, into multiple school locations, which he agreed to. And together with our local partner, we have now uh, already uh, opened a second school and are working to open or redevelop, if you like, an existing third school to be added to his school company. And another example is that we've invested in a diagnostic center, a medical diagnostics center, using state-of-the-art knowledge and some uh, IT from Europe, uh, offering the best uh, diagnostics for medical purposes in Accra. The Renewable Energy um, Public-Private Partnership Procurement Program has completely changed the equation in Africa. There was a lot of skepticism about whether it would actually work. And now we're seeing um, large amounts of renewable energy coming onto the system in South Africa at very competitive prices by world standards because of a government decision, the resolve, and the consistency to follow it through. In Kenya, we're seeing a significant change with um, the reform of the power sector, with the regulator um, putting in place sensible levels of feed-in tariff for renewable energy. We can show that it's possible as a private sector to do sustainable business in Africa with a reasonable rate of return. at the end of the MDGs, 2015 MDGs. And so we need to recap what has been done. Where do we stand? We need banks and, and African pension funds to get involved in SME development if we're going to build a sector that's sustainable for the long term. I, I expect that uh, Africa is being understood as a uh, continent and a region of uh, opportunities, of business opportunities. That we move more and more from uh, Africa as a problem area to Africa being an opportunity.